When war broke out between their two clans, the cats of Fern Clan and Silver Clan feared the worst. This is the beginning of my clan gen series on the cats escaping this war. Based on generated relationship values, I divided the cats into two groups representing their former clans. I've seen a lot of these clan gen videos going around on YouTube for quite a while now, and I love this game and been wanting to do one of my own. I just needed to find the time to sit down, draw, record, and edit all of this. But that's finally here! So this first cat here is Raven Speckle. Uh, Raven Speckle initiated the formation of a refugee group to leave their territory. Despite being only 26 moons old, he was elected leader of this small clan. He is cold to others, but has the traits of a great teacher along with natural intuition. He's quite short compared to some other cats in the clan, but that doesn't prevent him from being an excellent leader. Uh, he was the first cat I designed here, so his shortness was a bit of an accident, but I think it fits his character well. Love his patterns with the light gray spots and the white paws, he's adorable. <laughs> so, he gathered the kids and elders of his clan, Fern Clan, and met with Hazy Burr of Silver Clan. Hazy Burr is the same age as Raven Speckle and was made his deputy. She is daring and provides valuable insight. I enjoyed designing her and was incredibly happy with how she came out. She's definitely one of the prettiest cats here. When I was going through drawing the cats, uh, and I was looking at their kind of statuses that pop up above their head in the game, uh, it said hers was feeling like concerned or worried. And I thought that was really interesting. So I really want to express that. Despite her very daring personality, it's nice to think that uh, running away from a war like this would be terrifying for her. So I apologize, this is like my millionth time recording. So if I sound odd, or if there's a bit of background noise, just pretend there's not. I'd appreciate it. The medic of the clan is Vineleaf, the former medic of Fern Clan. She's just under five years old, meaning she's had plenty of time to train her medicine abilities and is prepared to serve her new clan. She's childish and loves to watch after the kids of the clan, along with teaching them the stories of how the clan originated, along with Elder Web Ghost. She won't let the memory of her former clan die. She is so fun. I wanted to draw her in this very playful kind of pose, looking happy. Uh, I think her design came out so cute. She was interesting to draw, fun to design. Not much to say on her. She's just a joy to have around, honestly. So along with the kids of our clan, Hazy Burr brought her mediator, Eagle Bounce. Aside from the elders, Eagle Bounce is the oldest warrior and just slightly older than Vineleaf. She's charismatic, provides valuable insight, and is steady on her paws. She's just a sweet cat and a joy to be around for everyone. I want to give her a very friendly look. I imagine her kind of being a good friend for Hazy Burr, 
to comfort her during this travel. Uh, so yeah, from Silver Clan, it was only Hazy Burr and Eagle Bounce, and then the kits they brought with them. So, Hazy Burr definitely needed a friend during this time, I'm sure, and I think Eagle Bounce was perfect for that. I think her design came out really cute. I like the browns and uh, grays mixing together like that. She's not the only tortoise shell. There is one other tortoise shell, but I think she's my favorite of the two. Definitely. Oak Flood is the eldest clan member, being 153 moons old. He was formerly a Fern Clan cat, but shifted over to Silver Clan just before the war began. It caused many clan members not to trust him very much, but he was still invited along to escape the horrors of war. He is transmasculine and the adoptive father of Vineleaf. Unfortunately, Vineleaf has a hard time seeing her father the same after his abandonment of his former clan. I think he came out cute. I wanted to give him a much older look since he's the oldest cat in the clan. Uh, I did a little loaf, like he is depicted in his pixel sprite. And he's just a cute little fellow. Uh, it was so fun trying to figure out a backstory for him because since I was going off platonic relationship values, um, while no other cats in the clan has much of a likeness towards him, like they don't like him very much, he had a pretty even split of like and dislike among both groups. So, I was like, should he have been a drifter who they just came upon? Should he have been in this group or that group? And my friends and I uh, had settled on. He was formerly in Fern Clan and shifted over to Silver Clan. That would also explain some relations he has with the other elder Web Ghost, which I will get into. So Web Ghost here is our other elder. Uh, she is an adventurous cat and loves sharing her stories with anyone who will listen. She and Vineleaf love to share everything they know together to anyone, uh, including the kids especially. Although past arguments about his betrayal left Oak Flood feeling some hatred for her, she still deep down cares for her former friend. Uh, I imagine she hopes to rekindle that friendship someday and maybe this new clan life would help. I drew her uh, like to look like she is cuddled up next to him because before I looked at their relationship values, I was like, I would love these two elders to be just buddies in all of this. Unfortunately, Oak Flood doesn't like her very much though. So this here is the first kit, Rain Kit, who is part of Raven Speckle's group from Fern Clan. He's four months old, and although he's quiet, he's an avid play fighter. I love the little pose he came out in uh, with his little paw up. I thought that was adorable. His design was quite simple, but I still love it so much. Uh, his partner in crime, who you'll see in just a bit here, is Spot Kit. So Spot Kit is our oldest kit and he's a bit of a handful. He was also a Fern Clan kit. He's five months old, more than eager to become an apprentice. He's an attention seeker, a restless sleeper, and pretty big compared to the other kits. I enjoyed drawing him and I think he came out just so cute. I love the little white eyebrow spots he has and his pattern is just adorable. He's just a cute little guy. Everyone who I showed him the art of to also loved him, so yeah.
So Crouch Kit is from Hazy Burr's group. He's three months old and pretty lonesome, but he loves listening to Web Ghosts and Vine Leaf stories. He stands so cute and proud, and I love how he came out, especially his little expression. Uh, it actually worked out so perfect when I was assigning the groups that... So Rain Kit and Spot Kit had like good relationship values with each other. So it was like clear, okay, I'll put them in a group together. And then both of them didn't really know Crouch Kit and the other kit, Ermin Kit, who you'll see here. So I thought it was cool that Crouch Kit and Ermin Kit did have a relationship. So I was like, okay, that's perfect. Rain Kit and Spot Kit are from one group. Crouch Kit and Ermin Kit from the other group. Love it. The final little kitten who came with Crouch Kit is little Ermin Kit. She's the only female kitten and is only a moon old. Uh, she's insecure, likely because she's the youngest and only girl, but she's always eager to help uh, however she can to prove herself. Figuring out a pose for her was so difficult, but um, I think she came out adorably. She is the other uh, tortoise shell. Uh, mostly gray with a little brown spot on her face. It is so cute. I want to give her a little bit of a pouty, kind of upset look. Um, just to show her little insecure side. Uh, but she's cute, so adorable. I just want to pick her up and hold her, little fella. So the two groups, desperate to find a safe home, were led by the ghost of Leafpaw. He was a mediator apprentice who died at nine moons old and has been dead for almost 150 moons. Under his guidance, Raven Speckle and Hazybur led their cats to a forest gully far, far away from their former clans. Raven Speckle was gifted the name Ravenstar and the blessing of nine lives. Together, the cats chose the name Silver Fern Glan to remember their origins and hope that this will show peace and unity between the colonies, even on a small scale. I wanted to make Leafpaw look very flowy and majestic. I've done stars and constellations throughout his pelt, along with him kind of fading into the background, as you can see. I think he just came out wonderful. So those were the cats of Silver Fern Clan. In future videos, I'll be walking through each moon of their new lives, but first, I'd like to choose one of the kits to be a main character of sorts, like a mascot to mainly focus on during the clan's development. Feel free to comment who among these four kids you'd like to closely follow the journey of, and thank you for watching.